happy Sunday to you. Welcome to the 31st episode of the 3AM Knitter Podcast. I am so happy you are here. My name is Anne and I am a knitter from the North Shore of Nova Scotia, Canada. I live in a small town called Picto, Nova Scotia, which is located just on the uh, Northumberland Strait. And um, yeah, we're having a great day here today. It's really warm, 13 degrees, which is fantastic. A uh, little bit uh, overcast though, so not really happy about that. But we did see a little bit of sun earlier today, so that was grand. Okay, let's get into uh, some housekeeping. You can find me over on Instagram as 3am knitter, and my email address is 3am knitter at gmail.com. Uh, snail mail address you'll find down below in the description box and I also have a Ravelry group called the 3am knitter um, I know surprise right uh, so if you are somebody who uses Ravelry and would like to join the group please do um, we have a few things going on in there and it is my my goal this year to really make it a happening place so I hope that you will uh, consider joining me over there uh, I do put out a monthly newsletter right at the beginning of the month the newsletter includes things like when the episodes of the podcast will be put uh, up for the month. I try my very, very best to stick to that schedule. I have a monthly virtual knit night that is open to everybody. And so the date uh, is put there. There's a link to Zoom there for you as well. I include um, some upcoming notices uh, if I've got a pattern releasing, um, those kinds of things in the newsletter. So. Uh, if you are called to uh, subscribe to yet another newsletter, uh, follow the link down below and you can get your name on the mailing list. Excuse me, just one moment. Uh, sorry about that. Also, uh, you can visit me over on my website, which is the 3 amknitterweeblycom um, where you will find all sorts of things. Um, if you are somebody who does not use Ravelry, you can find my patterns there for purchase. Um, there is information about uh, the 2024 East Coast Sock Club. There is information about The Circle, which is my paid membership. Um, and the website is changing all the time. So uh, if you'd like to jump on over there and take a look, please do. What else do I want to talk to you about? Uh, that is pretty much it for housekeeping. All of this information and links to everything that I just talked about will be down below in the description box for you as well. Sorry, I'm getting some glare on my glasses and it's kind of driving me nuts. Um, all right, announcements before we jump into the knitting content. Super excited to tell you all that the membership uh, membership for the circle is opening again tomorrow, which is Monday, uh, April 15th. I almost said August. <laughs> Monday, April 15th. It will be open until the 21st and then it will close again until the fall. Um, so if you have been waiting for the membership to open, tomorrow is your chance. There will be a link down below in the uh, description box that can take you right to a sign up page. There are two options to join. You can join on a monthly basis or you can join on an annual basis. And anybody, which is most of the current members uh, who join on an annual basis, you get a month for free. So um, take a look at that. Uh, there's a link there. Uh, you can read all about it on the website, what's included. If you follow me or pop on over to Instagram, uh, over the last number of days, I've posted a whole bunch of testimonials about uh, current members' experience in the circle. And I also invite you to ask me anything you want about the membership. Um, I am happy to answer any and all questions. So, you know, the kinds of things that we're doing in the membership are, you know, you know instead of just a monthly uh, get together where we get together for a virtual knit, we, we, the circle meets weekly. We meet every Tuesday night. Um, I offer a knitting concierge service, which is a, an RSVP based service uh, where uh, members will just send in a request and on Monday evenings between seven and eight, I should also say these are all, times are all in Atlantic time zone. Um, so between seven and 8 p.m. on Monday evenings, I take a look at all the requests for help and we jump on a Zoom call and we, we walk through whatever issues you're having with your project. So maybe you don't know how to do a certain stitch. Maybe you need to learn a new technique to finish a pattern. Maybe you found a pattern, but you just, you're looking for help 
um, deciding on suitable yarns, you know, those kinds of things. So it's anything that you need help with on um, your knitting, your crocheting, your cross stitching. I do a bit of weaving too, so I can probably help out in that manner, but that's also included in the membership. Um, we also have the 2024 East Coast Sock Club, which is not just for membership, it's for everybody, but members of the uh, of the circle get a 50% discount on that. So a little bit of a, a little bit of a perk for all members. Um, we uh, will, uh, I'll also be offering um, exclusive uh, patterns twice a year that will be released only to members. Uh, they will never be released to the public. So you have to be a member to get a hold of these new patterns. For instance, cowls, socks, things like that. Um, and so much more. We have cast on parties. We have lots of lots of other things. So um, I hope you'll consider joining us. We are a wonderful, beautiful sisterhood of crafters that come together. And we're not just there for the knitting. We are people who are looking for community and we have found that in the circle. So I hope that you'll, you'll consider joining us. So again, membership opens tomorrow, April the 15th closes again on the 21st and will not open again till the fall. So um, don't get that FOMO going, get yourself signed up. And uh, remember that, uh, remember, I haven't told you yet. Um, so if you wait until the fall to join, the, the price is going to go up a little bit. Um, so take advantage and get yourself in there now. Okay. All right. So that's, that's all about the spring membership opening. Um, Next, I usually would roll into what am I wearing, but I'm not actually wearing any knits today. Um, I've been out and about doing doing some work and really, really busy um, getting prepared for uh, opening of the membership tomorrow. And so I am not wearing any knits. Um, truth be told, I'm in my pajama pants and I, I just put a shirt on and combed my hair just for you. So, but what I will show you, and I've showed you this before, I'm wearing this beautiful necklace. This is a beautiful one of a kind piece by the lovely Mabel and Rose, a beautiful Halifax maker who, um, Oh, if you, ha I, I've, I've linked to her before, but I will link to her again. If you haven't checked out her jewelry, you must. Just amazing, one of a kind pieces. As soon as I saw this in her Etsy shop, I was like, yep, that's coming home with me. Um, so I, I encourage you to go and take a look at her Etsy shop. Even if there's not something there for you, there's always going to be something there that is a perfect gift for someone you know. So check her out. This is my beautiful, beautiful Mabel and Rose necklace. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, just love it. So that's what I'm wearing today instead of knits. I'm wearing my Mabel and Rose one of a kind necklace. Alrighty. Let's see, what do we got next? Works in progress. Actually, no, you know what? First of all, oh, first of all, I need to say, excuse me, just for one minute, stand by. I forgot a finished object. So I'm just going to go grab it. Hang on just one sec. I'm going to have music on hold for you. Do, 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 and I'm back. Sorry about that. Hi. All right. I finished my March socks. Oh yes, I did. I finished them last night. So here we go. I don't know if you can see that. So these, and actually they're, uh, they're almost dry. Um, I finished them last night while I was watching the Toronto Maple Leafs lose. Hmm. Let's say no more about that. Okay. So you can see this beautiful, um, Detail here goes all the way up into the um, into the cuff, heel flap and gusset construction, rounded toe. Um, so these are my March socks for my 2024 um, sock socks from Stash. So this is the project that I'm working on, and we're also you know working on it in our uh, in the Ravelry group, um, where I chose the 12 patterns 
from my library. I had already owned the patterns and I'm knitting from stash. So, and all these socks are gonna be for my mom at the end of the day. Um, so this is Prairie Girl Designs. Uh, and it is her rippled rib, ripple, ripple ribbed socks. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Um, so I did the largest size. There's three sizes in the pattern. It is a paid for pattern. I did the largest size. And this yarn is Malabrigo sock in the Vert Rayon colorway. Or is it Rayon Vert? I'll look it up. So uh, I decided to do a little bit of a shorty. Now, I know my mom doesn't technically love shorty socks, but um, I thought, you know, for one pair, I'll give it a try and see what she thinks. So uh, I haven't, I mean, they're very, they're still just a wee bit damp. I haven't even woven anything in yet because I do that after the blocking is finished. And I know this took me a super long time. It, I mean, it never takes me this long to do socks. I don't know what it was about this pattern, but um, I just, I don't know. I just couldn't, uh, couldn't get it done. I don't know if that helps you see it, but anyhow. So this is a pattern by uh, Susie White. Susie White? Yes, Susie White um, of, the Prairie, of Prairie Girl Designs. And like I say, it is a paid for pattern. I'm uh, just going to give you a few wee details about it. Bear with me. Do, 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 do. Wrong. All right. So. There we go. Ripple ribbed socks. $6 US or $8.62 Canadian, um, 2.5 millimeter needles, 360 meters, excuse me, 360 to 425 yards or 329 to 389 meters. I use less because I did shorty socks. Um, so basically what I did with the pattern is, did I only do one repeat? Uh, da, 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 da. Instructions. Leg. Excuse me. I did four repeats. So it's a four row repeat. I did four repeats for the leg. Um, then I did my heel flap and gusset. Um, and then I did um, 10 repeats or 40 rows for the foot. And then I started the toe. Um, so that's that's what I did. The pattern is written for cuff down, traditional heel flap and gusset, but her notes here say that it can easily be modified uh, for toe up and your preferred heel construction. Um, now, these little cables, this one by one cable in this detail right here, um, very easy to, um, very e pattern's very easy to follow and very, very easy to memorize. Um, so that is uh, my finished object, the ripple ribbed socks or my March socks from my 12 pairs in 12 months, 2024, 12 pairs in 12 months. So super duper excited about getting those off the needles. That is for sure. Okay, let's, uh, let's move right into works in progress. So my friendship shawl that I'm doing for my book club, haven't even touched it. Um, so again, I'm not going to show you uh, show you that one again. Um, now that I have my March socks finished, I am trying to get caught up on my April socks, which I'm going to talk about in just a sec. Um, so I will endeavor to get some work done on that friendship shawl uh, because we are slowly approaching the time where it's time for a new book, which means it's time for a new pattern. So I want to get um, I want to get that shawl whipped up as, as quickly as I can. But um, I have cast on for my April socks and my April socks are um, the Torrent socks from Tin Can Knits. So that is in there. It's beautiful, uh, beautiful kind of 
yarn overs there and knit twos and slips of knits, etc. So that's a tin can knit pattern. There's um, another pick there. So a little bit about that pattern. It is a paid for pattern. You can get it for $6 US or $8.62, or it is part of one of their eBooks. The, which eBook is it? Oh dear, hang on. Uh, let's see. It is part of Pacific Knits eBook. So if you wanted to, to buy the whole eBook, which believe me is an amazing value, and you can't go wrong with tin can knits. So for $24 US or $34.47 Canadian, you can get the Pacific Knits book, which includes 18 patterns. I think it's 18 patterns. So just to give you an idea, like all of these patterns here, sweaters, accessories, socks, fingerless gloves, hats, vests, cowls. I mean, can't go wrong for that. Um, I did buy the ebook. That's that's where I got the pattern from. So I've just uh, cast on those last night. I immediately cast on as soon as I um, did the Kitchener stitch on the other ones. So I haven't got very far. I've just started the um, I've just started the the chart. So you can't really see a whole lot, but um, just a little bit there. It's not really doing it justice. So I am using this kind of sparkly sock. It's uh, It's got a darker piece in the middle, so I'll be interested to see what happens as I get on to sock number two. So this is from a dyer who I believe is no longer dying, and I've talked about them before, Alpami, Alpami Yarn, um, a little piece of my yarn. So this is a dyer from Windsor, Ontario. So this is um, 460 meters, 100 grams um, of Dolce Glitter Sock. And this is called the Dorothy's Slipper Colorway. So there is a little bit of sparkle in it. Yeah, you can see, see at the bottom there, a little bit of, yeah. So, um, yeah, so the pattern I mean, Tin Can Knits patterns are written so very well, you can't go wrong. But the um, the lace pattern is 20 stitches and it's a 39, 40 row repeat. Um, but every other row is just knit. So um, it's not a, uh, not a difficult, not a difficult pattern. But obviously it's cuff down, heel flap and, and gusset construction, which as you know, is my favorite. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting to work uh, on those and then I talked to you last week about the crochet bag that I'm um, crocheting for um, the membership knit along knit along crochet along anything along I haven't done any more work on that because again I wanted to get those March socks finished okay so what did I want to talk to you about next excuse me for drinking in your ear um, so my wonderful friend, Lyanne, has created and sent me um, a new loom to try. So this is a copper pipe loom. And if you see here on the, see here, here, these are adjustable so I can make it smaller or larger. So I just got this uh, last week and I am very much looking forward to warping this up and giving it a try. So on the next episode, I am going to um, show you my progress on this new loom and let you know what I think. Uh, I know that she uh, will be selling these, so I'll give you a, uh, a review. And any of you who would like to jump on board and try out a new um, copper pipe loom, I can put you in touch with Lyanne and you can uh, get your own. Okay. Um, hmm. A little bit unorganized. Ah, okay. Sorry. Let me just close this and open up my LYS. 
So you guys know that I absolutely love my LYS Natural U Yarns. Um, Jasmine and Andrea, mother and daughter team, who um, dye their own yarn. They do carry a wee bit of commercial yarn, but really it's just in their shop, which is just up the street. Um, it is it is really um, their hand dyed. And the, the other amazingly beautiful thing about their yarn and their colorways is that they grow or forage mostly, well, they do some foraging, I think, but mostly Andrea grows a lot of the, the flowers and things like that that she needs to do the yarn, to do the dyes. So it's just, um, it's just a beautiful process. So they have just updated their website, just saw it this morning, um, with their new spring line. And I really wanna share this with you. So for spring, we have um, a number of colorways. Um, you can get these, Oops, this is in Echo. You can get these in full skein, half skein, mini skein. So um, 100 grams, 50 grams, 25 grams. So this first colorway is called Lunenburg. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I'm in love with that color. Absolutely. Okay, so that's Lunenburg. This one here has me kind of all gaga, but this is called, oh, star, yeah, Stargazer Lily is the next one. Beautiful reds and pinks and just that like creamy vanilla color. Oh, so beautiful. This next one I'm gonna show you is my absolute favorite, and I need you to help me and find me a pattern that I can knit with this. This is Clementine. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it so much. Clementine. Um, all right. I'm gonna butcher this name, I am absolutely sure. Um, Blumchen, Blumchen 2, Blumchen 2. Please correct me if I said that incorrectly. Yeah, nice pink. I'm a pink lover, so anything along those colorways makes me happy. This, this next one makes me super happy too. Honeysuckle. Look at that. Pops of that pink in there. Oh. And then just a couple more. Uh, purple finch, so any purple lovers out there? Mm, really nice. This next one is, um, it's got all my mood in it, let me tell you. This one's called Sea Storm. Bluey gray, purpley color. Oh. And then uh, finally, there is Beach Pebbles, Beach Pebbles, which is really quite lovely. And then they have one more colorway, which is vanilla, um, which you can imagine that color. So I'm not gonna show that to you. So that's their new spring line. And I am so excited about that Clementine. I really, really, really wanna knit up something with that. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below to the shop. I want you to go over to the shop, take a look, and tell me what your favorite colorway is. Okay. Um, what would you, what would you knit? Give me an idea. Um, I also really like that sea storm uh, colorway, that darker one that I showed you. It's organic merino. Um, it's all fingering weight, right? So, fingering weight. Think. Organic Merino, Fingering Weight, Clementine. Find, can you suggest a, a pattern or two? Something for like a, like a summer top. Um, I like layering pieces. So something I could wear like a, 
spaghetti strap tank under or a tank top um, or I could wear over a dress. Think, think along those lines and maybe give me a, um, give me a suggestion because I would love to hear, I'd love to hear your ideas. So, so yes, Natural You Yarns, the link is down below. Go check them out and check out that new line because I think that you are going to, um, you're really going to love it. Okay. Dream knitting. Oh, I have a few for you today. I do. I have a few for you today. So I don't know if you already saw, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen this. Um, but I, um, during our circle knit night last week, I think it was last week, I forgive me. Um, I, uh, one of the members, Wanda, she has chosen a pattern for our spring knit along. And as soon as she showed it to me and well, showed it to us, I immediately, while we were on the call, went on to Ravelry and bought the pattern. Actually, I did not buy the pattern. That is a bold faced lie. It's a free pattern. So I think I just said I bought the pattern because I can't believe it was a free pattern. So this here is called the Autumn, I've already forgotten the name, Autumn Leaves Linear Top. Let me make this picture bigger for you. So it's kind of like a shawl, two shawls, sewn together at the sides. So it makes like a little poncho-ish, is poncho-ish a word? So it makes like a like a little, like it's a layering piece, right? But if you see here, it's got this beautiful lace detail at the bottom and super simple stockinette. Um, Autumn Leaves Linear Top. It's a pattern by Sean Price. I'm gonna, th I, th I think that's Sean Price White. Again, free pattern, 766 yards or 700 meters on a four or 4.5 in fingering weight. Light as air, top is flattering for most figures, quick and easy to knit, two rectangles, suitable as an introduction to lace for advanced or beginners. So um, here's a little bit of a close up of the lace detail at the bottom. So it's, it's not difficult. Right, isn't it pretty? Oh, so I uh, immediately knew what yarn that I was going to buy for this. And I jumped on to the website of the lovely Madison and I purchased, she has just released, remember I was talking about, um, about her in the last episode, she's released her first collection, First Bloom. And um, I purchased her Daffodil. Now, I don't have it yet, because I just bought it. Um, but look at that, can I make that bigger? Yeah, kind of, sort of, right, with Instagram. Um, I'll link down below and you can pop over to her Instagram or to her, her website or her Etsy shop and you can take a look. So another amazing Canadian dyer, um, Madison is from uh, Sarnia, Ontario, and yeah, she's done some dyeing. So she just posted this. Ooh, yeah. So that's the yarn that I chose to do that linear autumn linear sweater. So I'm super super duper excited about that. Um, I just said um again. I realize I'm saying um a lot. Sorry. And my partner, Paul, pointed that out in my last episode kindly that I said um an awful lot. So I've been consciously trying to tell myself not to say it. But of course, as soon as you do that, you say it, right? Mm. So that is uh, my first dream knitting. And it's not far off because I will, um, I will be knitting that as soon as I get the supplies. And then for my second dream knitting... 
Where the heck did it go? Oh dear. Do, do, do. There it is. Garden cardigan. Okay, so this is uh, not a new pattern. It was published in November of 2023 by Anne, Anne Strick. Anne Strick. I don't know if I said that right. Uh. So I am a big fan of a cardigan. So even in the summer, I sit all day at a desk. And so I sometimes get cool. So I always love to have a cardi on the back of my chair. So this is just, um, it looks like there's no buttons on it. It's got a nice little detail, lacework detail in it, which, you know, calls to me. Longer sleeves. Look at the back detail there. Oh, love it. So just a, um, a great everyday cardigan inside pocket. Here's somebody else's, one of the test knitters, I guess. Yeah, longer sleeves, which is likely what I will do on this cardigan, make a longer sleeve. So uh, another fabulous cardigan. So I'll be casting that on again. And as I look at the pattern, um, it does, it is uh, knit in a DK, two lace held together, 950 to 1600 meters on a four and a 3.5 millimeter needle or a six and a four for my US friends. Um, my goal for the garden cardigan was an open front cardigan that stays on the shoulders while working in the garden with a nice neckline to keep your neck warm and a super easy knit lace texture for lightweight fabric. And yes, it has a hidden pocket on the inside. Uh, works seamlessly from the top down, which is great. It comes in six sizes up to a bust circumference, a finished bust circumference of 64 and a half inches or 164 centimeters. The gauge is 19 stitches and 36 or 32 rows um, in stitch pattern after blocking. So uh, that is on my list for sure. And then finally, um, I did it again, sorry. Hmm. Oh, I've lost track of this pattern. Shoot. Ah, there it is. Tibur Tiburon Tunic by Mary Pranica. Prenic so this is one of those layering pieces, again, that I, you know I love. Look at that. That's what kind of got me. I just am, I'm enthralled by it. I think because... I used to sew clothes for my kids when they were babies. And I think I had a sewing pattern that was like little shorts and had a little top like that. Maybe that's what called me to that one. Anyway, um, April 2024, brand new. Uh, it is a paid for pattern, $9 US, $12.93 uh, Canadian, made out of organ or or organic cotton sport. Um, 20 stitches to 32 rows in stockinette on a 3.75 or 5, 3.75 millimeter or US 5 needle. Goes from extra small. Okay, no, excuse me. There are three size ranges. So the first one is extra small to medium. The second one is two large to 2XL, and the third is 3X to 5XL. Okay. There are no patterns on Ravelry yet. The suggested yarn is Blue Sky Fibers Organic Cotton and Sport Weight Cotton. Um, anyway, um, I am enthralled by this. I, uh, I think it would be a, a fun piece to have in, in the wardrobe. And um, yeah, I think that that's going to be on my list for sure. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's see. 
I talked to you, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. I talked to you about the membership. I talked to you about that. It's going to be a shorter episode this week. Okay, let's move into our Knitter's Oracle. Let me just pop over here and grab them. Give them a wee bit of a shuffle and we will read our card today. So I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. Oh, it's been a nice weekend here. We've we've really just kind of um, we didn't do much. Um, groceries, tidied up, visited my mom. Um, you know, cooked some food, relaxed, watched the hockey game last night. Those kinds of things. So nothing. Uh, you know, living the dream, right? Okay. So today's card, today's card is the Lace Weight Silk. The Lace Weight Silk. Seven. So let's read about the Lace Weight Silk. Lace Weight Silk. Slithery and seductive. Delicious and dangerous. That's the Lace Weight Silk. You see it, you touch it, you want it, you gotta have it. Isn't that true? The lace weight silk speaks of obs obsession, ambition, and desire, but also treachery. Ooh. One dropped stitch, one slip while winding, and you're in a world of pain. Isn't that the truth? The lace weight silk is a hazardous card. Beware of manipulation, addiction, and other dangerous indulgences. This card can take an otherwise innocuous reading in a seedy direction. <laughs> the lace weight silk. Obsession, ambition, and desire. Oh, well, you know what? Isn't that the truth? I was just talking to you about my desire for the new colorways. Hmm. But also treachery. One drop stitch and one slip while winding and you're in a world of pain. So this is interesting to me because I certainly understand as you're working with silk, if you drop a stitch, especially in lace weight, right, you're you're not getting it back unless you're really patient. Um nine times out of ten, probably nine point five times out of ten, when I'm working with a lace weight or a specifically a silk. If I make an error in a pattern or I drop stitches, there's no fixing it for me. I'm ripping the whole thing out and starting again, right? Can I put lifelines in? Sure. Do I? No. So hazardous? Yes. <laughs> Beware of manipulation, addiction, and other dangerous indulgences. Dangerous indulgences. I don't know. For me, what's, what's coming to mind is buying new, buying new yarn. Do I need new yarn? No, I don't need new yarn. Who needs new yarn? Do I want new yarn? Yeah, I want new yarn. So, hmm, the lace weight silk. What does that mean for you? Share your thoughts down below. Hmm. I like that card. Makes me giggle a bit. So friends, that's it for uh, this episode of the 3 a.m. Knitter podcast. I hope that you have enjoyed watching along. Please get ready for tomorrow when I open the doors to the Circle membership. I would love to have you join us. I've got my wall calendar over there with all of the things scheduled in already that we're doing. Um, we meet every Tuesday as a group and it's a beautiful beautiful, caring, and sharing space to be in. Um, you can join for a monthly membership or you can jump right in with both feet and join the way most members have as uh, by purchasing the annual membership. So we would really love to have you there with us. Next episode is in a couple of weeks. I uh, hope that you will tune in. Please remember to like and subscribe the, to the podcast if you're called to do so. 
And don't forget that you can draw, uh, drop me a line with any questions that you have. I'm always here to listen and I will be happy to chat with you. So that's all for this time. Take good care. Happy knitting. Bye for now.